What's interesting about grouping love, murder, and conspiracy together is the fact that all of those themes are being explored kind of at the same time within the movie, which is what makes it such a fun and exciting ride because you can never technically pin it down. There is a theme in David's movies of love, whether that's romantic love, familial love, just the idea of a love that's unconditional. And one of our characters, Bert, is very much looking for that. And we have the theme of, is it better to choose to be with somebody or to need to be with somebody? There's many beautiful love stories within it. The murder and conspiracy kind of kicks us off. Um, you sort of begin in a bit of a murder mystery which leads you to a conspiracy. But again, it is a wild ride and I defy anybody to be able to pin it down at any moment, which is why I love it. If I could have just been a fly on the wall in this movie, I would have gone every single day. It was so fascinating to watch every single person excel, not only at what they do best, but also trying something kind of out of their own box. And I think the reason why that was available to us is because David's really interested in allowing our humanity to come through. He doesn't want something that's super overprepared. He doesn't want you overthinking it. He wants you to show up and be alive. Like that's the main note always, just be alive. Which when the first time you hear it, you're like, okay, I am alive. So I don't know quite what to do about that. But the more you free yourself up, you just end up in this incredibly exhilarating environment. And I, that's what I really loved about it. I loved that every day I did not know what was gonna happen and I didn't know what I was going to do. And I felt that that gave me a confidence as a performer that I haven't really had before. If we're talking about her kindly, which I would like to, at least in this instance, Libby is incredibly enthusiastic about the things that she enjoys. And she very much values patriotism and um, the honorable man. That is something that is very important to her. And, um, She's almost, she's very protective over her husband, Tom, because he was bullied as a child and she feels that she's kind of the Rottweiler in that situation. Um, but yeah, you know, she's, a, she's an eccentric bird, very much so. Everyday life is funny. It's, that's, humanity is funny. If you cannot laugh at yourself and the people around you, you're doing something wrong because there's so many opportunities to laugh in this life and you kind of have to take them if you can. I think part of the reason why it works is because it's so fast paced that you really cannot settle in any of the genres. And that's what I love because any of the laughs that I've had watching the movie take me completely by surprise. I was in an entirely different headspace and then all of a sudden you're belly laughing, truly. Um, and I'll also say that without disrespecting any other film, because I very much enjoy them, I think there's something really special in the spectacle of the movie being the performances and the performers rather than a visual effect. I love visual effect movies, same as everybody, but I was just watching, as an audience member, unbelievable performers showing up and just giving it their all. And there's no moment in this movie where someone is not filling the screen and entertaining you and taking you along for that ride. One of the most original characters you will ever meet in your life is David O. Russell. He is like no one you have met before or you will ever meet again. Um, this was a dream come true. I've, I've known David, I've been bumping into David for, you know, whatever, 25 years or whatever. And, you know, we always talked at parties and whatnot and always, you know, I thought we liked each other. And, you know, I just never, you know, it was never a part for me and I never took it personal. So you just, you know, to finally get the call and to finally, and have fun with it. So we had fun. Like I had a good time with everybody. And uh, yeah, it's a dream. Like this guy is a grand master. You know what I mean? Like he's the real deal.
It's an adventure. It's a David O. Russell adventure, man. And either you buy into it or not. And David O. Russell sent Christian Bale a script, and Christian Bale called him back. That's enough move. <laughs> that that's enough for you to go to a movie theater. <laughs> Christian Bale, one of the greatest actors of our time, called somebody back and said, hey, let's, "Let's talk about this." Okay, I guess we should all get in line and see what the hell they were talking about. His sets are moving so fast. It's not like your average set where you're just hanging in your trailer for four hours to shoot something for 40 minutes. David O. Russell's sets are moving. They are working organisms, and something's always shooting, and you have to be on your toes. He uses uh, multiple cameras, and they're kind of always running, and he's just trying to get real moments. Well, he gives you a, has no problem giving you a line reading or changing a line in the middle of a scene, and you got to be on your toes. I had a great time with uh, John David. I'd never met him before. And, you know, I, I, tried to be, I tried to be an uncle figure. You know, a guy obviously has a father figure. Uh, so <laughs> I tried to be like that cool uncle he sees, you know, every four years. Uh, Mar Margot was really, Margot was a great actress and we bonded over spicy chicken from Howlin' Ray's Chicken. So me and Margo are cool. Uh, I got, it's weird. Here's a weird thing. I spent more time with Mike Myers on this movie and actually talking to Mike Myers than I did three years of Saturday Night Live. It's like, his office was over there, my office was over there. He was, you know, he was, you know, Wayne's World, man. He's a big star. I was just, you know, a guy struggling on the bench. So I didn't really, I, even though I'd work, you know what I mean? Like, you would think me and Mike Myers know each other. Didn't know him at all. I uh, had a great time with De Niro. De Niro, and he had, his son was there, um, Julian. So we, you know, we even, we even did a dinner or two. He's like, the guy's like one of my favorite actors. He's like, it's like made me care about Batman. You know what I mean? Uh, he's like, you know what I mean? Like, the guy's great. He's a great actor. He's amazing. American Hustle, oh, with the comb over and the whole thing. He put the weight on, the fight. Come on, man. Christian Bale, man. Like, the real deal. He's the real deal. Like, you know, comedians and actors, a lot of times comedians have no respect, and I'm sure it goes back. And he was like, ah, what are you, reading somebody else's words? Good for you. But Christian Bale is the real deal. He becomes other humans. You know what I mean? Like, he's like, he's like, uh, he's, uh, Christian Bale's like a real live, um, you know, like he's a real transformer. He's a real X-Men. It's like he becomes other people.